Having just celebrated its jubilee in 2021, the Shangri-La Singapore is the flagship property of the Shangri-La Hotel Group, and the property has since expanded to three wings, the oldest Tower Wing, the family-friendly Garden Wing, and the one that I'm staying this time, the Valley Wing. Being the youngest of the three properties, the target customers of the Valley Wing were guests who prefer the most luxurious stay and experience, and hence the Valley Wing has separate entrance and check-in lobbies. The moment that you step into the lobby of the Valley Wing, you will be impressed by the dedicated service of its staff, which makes check-in a very personal experience, something that you might not have experienced when checking in for other wings. The room that I'm staying is a standard Valley Wing King bedroom. At 500 square feet, the room continues to exude elegance and opulence like the common area of this property. What I liked the most was it has struck a balance in creating such ambience without being too old school. Yes, if you're a fan of W Hotels, you might not like the abundant use of boot or the chandelier, but as a luxury traveler, I found this room very comfortable and well kept. Equally impressive is the bathroom, which is big enough to accommodate separate area for shower and bathtub. The use of marble stone in the bathroom is very typical five-star hotels. Also, the hotel has used L'Occitane as their official skincare products for many years, and you know how good they are. The swimming pool of the hotel is one of the biggest among five-star hotels in Singapore and should be capable of serving customers of the three wings. In fact, during my entire stay in the Shangri-La Hotel, I have not witnessed any overcrowded situation in the pool and can feel free to take selfie without fearing anyone photobombing me. Equally impressive is the gym, which I can safely say is one of the biggest among Singapore's luxury hotels. The gym is well equipped with lots of facilities like treadmill, smith machine, weight resistance facilities, and dumbbell. The fact that customers are not required to book in advance was the best manifestation of how capable these facilities can accommodate customers of the three wings. Being a Valley Wing customer, you can choose to have breakfast either in the Summit Room of the Valley Wing or the Line Restaurant located in the Tower Wing. The Valley Wing mainly serves a la carte breakfast, while the Line is serving buffet-style ones. As a Valley Wing stayer, I would definitely prefer to dine at the Summit Room, as they have more avant-garde choices like the Nasi Lemak or the Arquan-style poached egg. But if you're a person who likes more variety, the Line might be your choice. As the hotel is located at mid-levels, the hotel has provided shuttle bus service to Orchard Road Shopping Precinct. Mind you, the frequency of the shuttle bus service has been reduced to just three trips a day, and no service will be provided after 2pm, and you might need to walk up the hills under 30 plus degrees after that. For dinner, I've chosen to dine in at the Shang Palace, a Michelin one-star Chinese restaurant. As I travel solo, there are not too many choices for me, but the crispy roast pork belly, Lobster with noodle and stuffed crab with cheese are definitely the ones that you should not miss. Overall, my stay in the Valley Wing of the Shangri-La Singapore Hotel is very impressive. I will be staying in the Tower Wing in August, which has been refurbished just a few years ago, and I will make a separate vlog and let's see if it's equally impressive. <laughs>